Hey everybody. Okay, I have quite the project ahead of me today. Uh, I'm going to be working on this DW uh, Edge series drum, six by 14. It was made in um, 2000. And um, if you know about the Edge series, um, this is a maple shell with brass rings. Um, built into the top and bottom edges and thus uh, the edge moniker. Um, and so uh, I'm gonna be taking the um, original uh, snare strainer, the throw off, and, um, and also the original uh, butt plate here. Um, those have both seen uh, many years of service. I'm gonna be replacing those with a brand new um, mag throw off and um butt plate here and um yeah pretty um pretty psyched to do it i'll also while i'm at it i'm gonna um you know change out the uh i'm gonna change out the snares i think um and certainly the um the bottom head all right and this is a um this is from the 2000s, it's a, or not the 2000s, it's from 2000, um, and uh, it's got the black uh, DW badge on it. And here we go. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, this um, Power Stroke 3 batter head still has a bunch of life to it. So I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna uh, work from the bottom um, as I work on the uh, the throw off and the butt plate. I will, um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, replace the snare side head while I'm, while I'm at it. Um, I may actually replace these snare wires too. Um, so the first thing to do is uh, remove the snare wires and the head. I'm just gonna get a, the head first and loosen that up. As always, I go to my jar O keys. I just like to mix these around. See what I come out with. Let's see here. Okay, today I have a Tama key. I'm gonna get one more. Right, my other one is uh, this Evans drum key. All right, so here we go. Okay, I've got the bottom head uh, pretty much loose. I'm gonna get at these snare wires next. Okay, so now the snare wires are loose, snares are off. Here we go, get the bottom hoop. old resonant head okay all right so first we're gonna get at um, the throw off itself it's a pretty cool design old school drum workshop um, but like I said seen better days I think as far as I'm concerned um, so we're gonna go ahead and refresh all right so it looks like we just need some uh, uh, Phillips head here. Okay, the old strainer's off. Take another look at this. Whoopsie. 
Oh, interesting. All right, that was back here. All right, good enough. I'm just gonna get the uh, screws back in place real quick. I'm just gonna put this little bar here for now. Oh, no, I'm not. It doesn't go there. All right, I'm just gonna put the screws back in place. Set those aside. Okay, now to get the uh, old butt plate removed. Same deal, just some Phillips screws over here, Phillips head screws. got the old screws back in place. While I'm here, I'm just going to give everybody a little look into the, to the interior of this, uh, the drum. So you can see it's pretty cool, the design, you know, it's got a maple shell, um, like I said, with the brass um, rings around um, uh, at the top, top over here and the bottom here. So everybody sees it was made in 2000, got a 2000 stamp. Very cool. Um, the inside of the shell, the maple is lacquered. And uh, it's actually pretty dusty and dirty in here. So, um, I mean, it is 24 years old. So while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and um, uh, clean a little bit on the inside just lightly and then also just clean up the, uh, the edges real quick. Okay, now I've got everything just wiped down. I'm gonna get to uh, I'm gonna get started on the um, get started on the uh, strainer first. All right, so first I'm gonna replace the uh, the strainer here. I've got a new uh, mag throw off strainer, so I'm pretty uh, pretty excited to uh, to get this on here. You notice first of all that we've we're dealing with um, with different kind of uh, mounting situation. Uh, we've got the uh, mounting screws going on in, um, fastened by a washer, lock washer, and then a uh, a nut as opposed to the old one which had um, screws going into the uh, the strainer on the outside so Right. 
rubber gasket here, so I'm going to get this in place. I'm hoping it still fit. Yep. It looks like it's a easy fit here, so to speak. If I can get the, uh, I got to get the mounting screws down here a little bit. Oh, it does not fit, huh? Well, that's a bummer. Okay. Just make sure. I get these versions, you know. All right, so they build these things as being plug and play, but obviously that's not the case. Clearly, um, the, um, the mounting holes are uh, are smaller, closer closer together than. Um, the mounting screws on this new mag throw-off. So that means I have to decide whether I'm going to drill some holes in um, in this um, in this drum. How far off are we? Here yeah, we're we're a bunch far off. So the question is going to be: Do I utilize one of the holes? We then drill a new one, and if so, which hole do I? Do I use the lower hole and mount one up top? Do I use the original hole on the top, drill one in the bottom? Or do I just go ahead and drill two brand new holes all together to accommodate, um, to accommodate this? I gotta think about that a little bit. Okay, I kinda can't believe this is happening. If you've seen my other video where I took my uh, 1976 Ludwig uh, Superphonic snare drum, the um, my LM400, and um, I outfitted that with a new P88AC strainer and replaced the P85, the original strainer that was on there. I had to I had to enlarge holes for that one at least. Here I've got to uh, drill a brand new hole, which is um, which is bugging me out a little bit. But I think what I'm going to do. Is I'm gonna um, I'm gonna retain I'm gonna keep the old the original uh, hole at the bottom, and I'm gonna drill a new one for the top. So um, wish me luck. Looks like the operation was a uh, was was a success. Let's get this in there. What I'm going to have to do though is um, let's actually take the uh, take the mounting uh, take the mounting screws and and put in longer ones. Um, thankfully, they gave me a, a bunch of, uh, of different sizes, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, new longer mounting screws are are in. So I'm going to put the uh, gasket on here. Very good. Line up my holes. Looking good. Flip this baby over. There we go.
Okay, next, just need a pair of, uh, I guess I'll use a really small little wrench there, but just take a look real quick, make sure it's looking good. Yeah, all right, looking all right. Okay, so we've got these hand tightened. I'm gonna just uh, need to tighten them. Let's see if this that works. Uh, there we go. Boom. Just tighten up. Nice, good and tight. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll uh, see you later. Looks all right. Cool deal.